Hello everybody, welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. Doing a little bit of uh, work off camera. I'm going to show you around the new basement area. But first let me get these bricks out of the oven. We're going to need those in just a second. So, you may notice something missing here. All that lava generation stuff is gone. Just wasn't generating as much lava as I felt like I needed. Um, it was a long way over to the smelter where I needed it, so I changed it. I moved the power bank over here, and the lava generation is now all of this. That is 64 crucibles now doing lava production with four igneous extruders supplying the cobble, lava all underneath it, and temper uh, hardened fluid ducts moving everything around. Very cool. Uh, it's producing quite a bit of excess lava right now. I'm already up to 185 buckets, 186 buckets of extra lava. You can see uh, it's moving right along. It's the uh, servos are keeping up with the crucibles. So uh, life is good. Now what I'm working on right now is I had that area uh, doing obsidian and smooth stone, which actually consumes the lava and the water. So I've got the igneous extruder sitting on the lava line that runs directly into the seared tank now. So my smeltery will always keep be full of fuel. The um, igneous extruder is picking that up, and then there's an aqueous accumulator underneath it. Now that guy's having a little bit of trouble keeping up and I've been thinking about ways to um, fix that. One way I could do it is uh, add some water source blocks around it. I don't really like that because it gives me a little, you know, that'll give me basically a pond right here, um, but I might end up doing that maybe with some covers over it. Oh, I'm still working on that. But one thing I thought about was why don't we try that well block that um, kind of discovered uh, through a quest and just see if that happens to speed up the aqueous accumulator. So you can see the aqueous accumulator is barely is making what, maybe 80, 60 per tick. Let's see if that helps. Maybe a bit. Maybe a bit. So, that looks a little better. Um, that continues being... That's still really slow. I'd still, I'd still like to get that speed increased a little bit. Let me... Uh, let's do another one of those. So, six iron, three clay blocks clay blocks get broken up into clay, should give us 12, feed that into the redstone furnace and we'll get 12 bricks out of it. We can use that to make brick blocks. So now I've got this whole big area over here, not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I've got the lava area over here, I'm kind of setting this up as my uh, you know, generating materials area. Got to set up um, something to build clear glass. Uh, and I'm going to go through under here. I mined out a bunch of green clay out of the bottom because I wanted to have a uniform color on top. But I need to go back in now and fill in a bit because I do like to have. Um, two block thicknesses on all of my um, flooring. And let's make some more of those. Alright, let's make another one of these brick wells. Someone asked um, how I'm dis um, distributing like that. So what I'm doing, I have 
I left clicked once on the iron to pick it up, and now I'm going to left click and drag across, and all the cells that I touch try to equally distribute. And that's how I do that. Alright, so I've got a, one brick well there. Let's uh, let's put another one. Oh, there it is. Just right beside it here. Watch, uh, it's generating 160 so a tick. So that's definitely more than before. I don't know that this is helping that much, but uh, yeah, probably not hurting. Anyway, definitely not getting ahead of the game. But I've got uh, you know 22 stacks of obsidian and 30 stacks of smooth stone, so that's something. I'm gonna switch over to making obsidian for a while. And. This is running. Everything here is still good. So let's. Uh, oh, let me show you the other between episode items. So upstairs, I set this up as a uh, kind of breeding area. I haven't, uh, haven't filled this back in yet, but I have. I'm um, working on rye. I crossbred that. I realized I wasn't recording at the time, but I've got that up to 577, 565, so it's, you know, part of the way through. And then over here, I've got the beginnings of farming, and I set up um, barrels for all the, for the kind of major crops. That way I can easily store them. I'm just going through and right-clicking that um, harvest the mature plants without breaking the crop sticks, without having to replant them, which is good. And then I'll just walk past double right clicking on each barrel. And the barley, I don't have a barrel for yet. So there we go. Let's see. Ah, made myself some Invar shears for the uh, for the leaves, which basically work the same way as regular shears. They just have a lot more durability. And this I'm still doing the uh, rubber trees because. Rubber is important for getting plastic. Plastic is important for all kinds of fun machinery that I'd like to play with. So let's not let's cut those trees down and replant them and move on to something else. I think the goal for today is going to be to finish up um, getting that, uh, what was it, asparagus? So put those in, put those in, the raw rubber, and then let's unload the leaves. And I have some string on me. Is there anything else I need to unload? green ones. Alright, let's go pick up that hardened clay, fill in the, uh, fill in some area with that, and then get going on making seeds. So this is really just me wanting uh, to make sure I don't accidentally fall. 
for some reason that was all green clay before that area just filled in and uh, I wanted the green clay elsewhere specifically I wanted it over here to uh, to let me build kind of a, a roof for this area still want to build some more but uh, that was at least enough to get started and this is the uh, the area that's the um, kind of river so uh, it's a little non-uniform probably at some point need to take that down and work on it a bit but uh, not today yeah it's uh, there's quite a bit of stuff in there what I'd really like to do been thinking about uh, heading off kind of in that direction with some farms and maybe have this river divert over there to be uh, irrigation for it I think that might be fun anyway maybe later on that I'm gonna fill that in and I've got my uh, seed analyzer here let's uh, let's make some seeds All right, so in the quest book what I want for this quest is artichoke not asparagus to get artichoke seeds I need to cross lettuce, which I have, with asparagus that I don't have. To get asparagus, I need scallion and corn. To get corn, I need barley and rye. So, this is rye. I don't think I have barley. No, oh, there I have barley. Okay, I was wrong. I did make barley. There's barley. Get one of those. And then I want to go ahead and get this up to um, a level 10 seed. Just reorganizing my uh, hot bar area. Okay, so put our crops in. Oh, I'm going to need the mattock. And the watering can. Weeds, of course. And let's analyze that. And I got a 577 rye. We'll replace the 565 rye with it. And I'm going to work on this a bit until I get the 10 by 10, the 10, 10, 10 rye seeds, and then I'll be back. All right, I have my 10, 10, 10 rye seeds, so I'm going to plant those and reproduce the seed a few times. I don't know that I'm going to uh, necessarily farm the rye seeds in the, unless I just really need to. I'm just trying to uh, duplicate seeds. So you set up a cross crop with nothing across, and that should allow a clone, whoa, a clone of that seed to grow. And if we go analyze them, yes, in fact, it did. That's not, strictly speaking, necessary because you're not going to destroy the, uh, the old seeds when you're crossing things. It's really just me wanting to make sure I uh, don't accidentally oh that is my barley seed I need that like 
I'm making sure that I don't accidentally, like I just did, uh, move something, delete something, destroy something that I actually needed. So next up is to combine the barley with the rye. And you'll see I already have some barley there. I'm going to that this area I'm keeping for kind of my uh, my seeds that have have gone all the way to 10, 10, and 10. So you can see I've got wheat, potato, sugarcane, carrot, barley, and rye. Lots of carbs. All right. So we set up our rye on one side and our barley on the other. So if we're looking at artichoke, remember, we're going for this asparagus, which means we need a scallion and a corn. Going for the corn, we cross barley and rye on podzol, fertile soil, farmland, hummus, pot. Yeah, so farmland will work fine. That's what this is. Set up the cross crop and right click and hold with the watering can and we get weeds. So we try it again. Second attempt gives us, oh wait a minute, I didn't, I never grew those up to mature. Let me do that real quick. They do grow a little bit faster when their growth is 10. see two oak saplings hanging out over there, or two or three. Let's go get those. Those make good compost material. This guy is still going strong. I'll uh, unload that in a minute. It seems like sometimes the growth goes really quickly, and then sometimes you're sitting here holding the uh, watering can and nothing happens. All right, so we've got mature rye, mature barley, cross crop, and weeds. Try again. Corn seed. Excellent. Check out my corn seed. It starts at 555. Five. So I'm going to keep that corn seed. I'm going to dump the rye seed and barley seed back in. I'm going to dump the rye and barley back in. Then I'm going to Send these saplings in, the wood, what else do I have on me? The apples. I had a, no, I guess I didn't have an apple, apple barrel. I probably should at some point. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and repair the flint hatchet so that the chopper can keep working. store that right there. All right, let's get this corn. Oh, you know what? It would be easier, since I have to grow it to maturity anyway before I can clone it. Go ahead and do that on one side. We'll clone it into the middle, grow it to maturity, and start cross-breeding cross them to 10, 10, and 10. I'll show you the cloning, and then I'll pause and uh, go work on the uh, mutations. Actually, let's not worry about it with corn. We'll still replicate the seed just uh, because. Wow, this has taken a while to grow this corn. There we go. All 
All right, we have our colon. Excellent. I'll put that right there since we haven't. Uh, well, we can go ahead and analyze it, but it's going to come out 5, 5, and 5. All right, so continuing on toward the artichokes, we now have our corn to get to asparagus. We need a scallion. Scallion is carrots plus sugarcane on fertile soil. So, ah, it would help if I had um, a little bit more farmland here. And we'll get sugarcane and carrot. I'm just going to leave that corn hanging out there since I know I'm going to need it in a minute anyway. I'm just going to make myself another crossbreeding area. Oh, wait, that's sugarcane. There's carrots. Sugarcane wants to be planted on sand. And, of course, I don't have any sand on me. There we go. Now I've got some. Before I do that, let's uh, let's eat some toast. Carrots are mature, sugar cane is getting there, then we'll cross those and hopefully end up with scallions. And we got carrot. Unfortunately, we're not able to get sugar cane since this is farm, and we got a scallion seed. Excellent. Let's identify the carrot seeds. They are 10, 10, 10 as expected. And the scallion seed is 5, 5, 5, also as expected. We'll take up the corn and or the carrots and sugar cane. Artichoke is asparagus plus lettuce. Asparagus is scallion plus corn on farmland. We now have both of those. We have our corn. Let's get this scallion planted. I still need to go back off camera and uh, get these up to 10 by 10 by 10, but uh, I think that can wait a bit. Because now that that's mature, let's see if we can make an asparagus. Yeah, we can make weeds. I'm really good at making weeds. And we have asparagus seeds. Excellent! at two, three, and two, but now I can make artichoke with asparagus 
and lettuce. Let's go find my lettuce seeds. There it is. So we've got asparagus and lettuce. Let's let this grow. It's taking a while to grow. That's mature. Now we need to get the lettuce up. There we go. All right, let's cross those and see if we can end up with artichoke. We got lettuce. We got lettuce again. Asparagus, which does start with the correct letter, just not quite. There's lettuce again. I have a lot of lower quality lettuce seeds at this point. And another asparagus. This is the part that can get a bit tedious, just because you're you're doing the same thing over and over and another asparagus. Go check the art, the agricultural journal to make sure we've actually unlocked that at this point. Asparagus is scallion corn getting asparagus. We know how to make and use barley seeds. Brown mushroom, carrot spores to make scallions, corn seeds to make asparagus and corn. Or sorry, yes, asparagus. Lettuce seeds, Oop, missed one. Melon seeds, netherwort, potato seeds, pumpkin seeds, rye seeds, scallion seed, sugarcane, regular seeds, and that's it. So I wonder if this is just not going to let me get it. I'm not sure if the agricultural journal represents what you can get or what you, well, I guess it represents what you can't, what you already know about because we just got artichokes. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, characterize all these asparagus and everything else. Right. So let's make sure we get a one of each thing in here. We have our artichokes, we have our lettuce, we have our asparagus, we have scallion, we have corn. That's asparagus. It's already up here. That's lettuce. I thought it was already up here. There it is. That's another asparagus, and it's sitting here. Okay, so we can remove these excess seeds. Oh, I still want that. Because that goes in the food box. All right. Let's 
asparagus and lettuce will need to go up to 10 before they can be stacked. All right, so we have our artichoke seeds. Let's see what we need to get for the quest. We actually need an artichoke. We'll let that get to mature. We'll get ourselves an artichoke and be done with that quest. There we have our artichoke, 100% and we get some nether ward as a reward. That's useful. Upgrading seeds. Seeds can be upgraded to grow faster, be more weed resistant, and produce more. To do this, you do the same things you do for other mutation, but you use either identical plant types or the parent plant types. So for artichoke, you can use two artichoke seeds, wheat, and a combination of three. Using unrelated seeds will have no effect. The more seeds you have around the space you're trying to get an upgrade on, the better. Always use your best seeds to try and mutate an upgrade. So it wants 16 tomatoes. Well, that brings up the entirely relevant question. How does one get a tomato? Tomato seeds are sweet potatoes plus carrots. Sweet potatoes are potato plus sugar cane. So that's not too bad. Combine potato and sugar cane to get sweet potato. Combine sweet potato and carrot to get tomato. And I'm going to start working on potato with sugar cane. But first, let's make sure we've actually put away everything that we're supposed to. Not sure. Yeah, the nether wart's over here. Anyway, so I'm going to work on that a bit um, offline, and actually looks like we're at a, a decent stopping point. So actually, let me, uh, I'll just take these two trees, um, chop them up real quick, and then I'll do the rest off camera for uh, another episode sometime. Anyway. Uh, my goal at some point in the next few, I would really, really, really like to get Applied Energistics going because I tend to like it for item storage quite a bit better than basically everything else that I've tried. And the Invarshears finally uh, broke. It took them probably five or six trees to break down, as opposed to the uh, maybe two trees that the uh, iron shears lasted through. So that's why it's potentially quite useful to make them. They uh, they do last a bit longer. And there we go. So we will plant those, go store things, and make sure to feed the composter. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.